Every day, every hour, every minute, all over Moreton Bay and the Sunshine Coast, toilets are flushing, sinks are draining, washing machines are washing, showers are spraying and dishwashers are cleaning as our homes, schools and businesses use water and create sewage. Most of us make around 162 litres of sewage a day. 99% of sewage is just dirty water. The rest is made up of solids, chemicals, fats, nutrients, nasties and some items that should not be in the sewage network. That's a lot of poo! <laughs> oh, sewage isn't just poo. It's also anything you flush down the toilet or send down your sink and your drain. And the water we treat is used for many things in our communities, not just in your home. It's used to water your garden, to fill your local pools, produce the food you eat, and protect you in case of a fire. Every time you take a shower or flush the toilet, you send wastewater to Epgor's Gold Bar Wastewater Treatment Plant. This innovative plant collects and treats both your wastewater and nature's stormwater, making sure it's safe to return back to the river. The wastewater passes through various treatment steps, including removing debris and contaminants and clarification. It's disinfected using high-intensity ultraviolet light, and then the clean water is returned to the river to re-enter the water cycle. It's important that the water we return is safe for us and the environment, so we can use it today and others can use it in the future. Before the world's population grew so much, and before there were all these houses and buildings, Mother Nature used to treat all the water through the natural water cycle. Rain would fall, water the world, then evaporate into clouds, before eventually returning as rain or snow or sleet. But now, we use so much water, and it becomes so polluted, that nature simply can't keep up. We now have the urban water cycle to give Mother Nature a hand. Follow us to find out what happens when all that sewage leaves your sink or goes down your toilet. So here goes. Pegs on noses. We're about to take a journey through the sewerage network. Off to Unity Water. When sewage is flushed or drained away from your house, it enters a huge maze of pipes that connect your house to the sewerage network. The sewage network is all the pipes, pumps and treatment plants used to remove and treat the sewage. When the sewage is released from the holding tanks, the treatment process starts. Sewage treatment is one great big science project. It's a complex process and we can't do it alone. We need a bit of help from our friends, the friendly bacteria. <laughs> Fortunately, these happy, hungry guys love all the organic matter in the sewage that we want to get rid of. In fact, it's their favourite food. That's right. These guys eat all the carbon and reduce the amount of phosphorus and nitrogen in the sewage that can impact the health of our waterways. So we feed them in huge bioreactors filled with lots of oxygen. They can eat and breathe and have lots of hungry babies that eat more and more and more. When the nutrients have all been gobbled up, it's time to move the sewage onto special clarifiers that separate the solids from the water in the sewage. By now, our treated sewage is looking pretty good, but we need to make sure it's ultra clean. So we filter it, then we disinfect it with ultraviolet rays or chlorine to reduce any hidden germs or nasties that might have snuck through. All the way through our treatment processes, the treated sewage is tested to make sure it meets strict rules. At the end of the process, the treated sewage is called effluent and it's been tested for quality more times than bottled water. Now clean, treated water, ready to continue on its journey through the urban water cycle. 